I want to thank our sneaky freak, Eleanor, for suggesting this question of the week. The question is, what was the best orgasm you have ever had? What was the situation leading up to it? And what made it so good? And Ooh-wee. That's a spicy one. That's a real spicy one. And it's a, it's a tough one, too, because some of us have lived longer than others. So we've had more orgasms. Oh, is that right? Yes. Okay, so... Well, why don't you start us off? Million dollar mama. (laughs) Yeah, you fucking want to start bragging about your fucking O's? I think that someone should have asked, like, which, you know, going through each decade, which was the best one? Oh, my fucking God. I mean, you got solo masturbation, and then you got, like, with a partner. How do you have to complicate this? Just tell us the best orgasm you ever had. It's really hard to know, because, I mean, I've had quite a few, but... Mom, the show... I will say that one of the better ones was on my honeymoon. Really? Yeah, because we were doing hash under glass. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with the hash again. Huh? It's always the hash. Hash is a hash good Hash under drug. the glass. I mean, orgasms like are... First of all, what I didn't realize is that men had different orgasms. I thought they're all the same for you guys. No. Apparently Very not. different. But for women, it, to me, it's all about the buildup. I mean, it's the same for men. Yeah, so and sometimes... Our anatomies are not so different. Right, I know, but I just never have been in a man's body in this lifetime, so I don't know. It works the fucking same. It works the same? Yes. Okay, so... All right, so what, what was so good about this hash experience? Because it was like one of those things where it's like such a long buildup to the, when you finally have an orgasm, it, it, it lasts for a while. So it was a long foreplay situation. A long foreplay, from what I remember. Yeah, well, the hash allowed you... We're talking 1982. It's, it's, <laughs> it was one of the best... But then I can also go. Wow, I can't believe you, were, you, lived, several you decades. remember something from 1982 is pretty wild. Fast forward several decades yeah. and probably on a different type of drug. Oh, Jesus Christ. But I, I, <laughs> I had some fun times with D's as well, my boyfriend. So I think the. What thing, are you trying to be equitable here? Yeah, my D's father, yes, D's, yes. trying to make sure okay, no one's I, left out. What I think is important to note is that orgasms <clears> for <throat> me, again, just speaking for myself, are better once you are totally comfortable with your partner. Because okay. then you can just drag it on as long as you want and not, not worry. There's nothing worse than being with someone who you really don't know and you're like not as comfortable. Horrible. I still will act like a freak. What does that mean? My best orgasm. I mean, I still will say like, can we edge? Can we? Can, it's yeah. like a. You know, it's like re- playing red light, green light a little bit. Like, you have to stop, say that. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Is that what you do? It's kind of like what what's happening there. It's a little. I like green. It's light. a little kindergarten game, basically. You do realize that I'm thinking Squid Game, so she's not a very. That's that's a frightening. Oh, I I have never seen Squid Game. That's a game, red light, green light. That's not so oh, good. Really? Yeah, yeah. The ones that are red light are getting killed. Okay, well, that's that's not what's happening. I'm just trying to edge. You're okay? just trying to edge. I, and when I'm asked about my best orgasm, I think about I, I you know I I've had many many orgasms. In my life. I'm so glad. Yeah. Maybe more than you. I highly doubt you it. You think you've had more orgasms than me? I'm double your years. So I know, yes. but I'm, I, you know, you know. No, you I don't know. Th- you know, I could, I don't know. I think I can masturbate a little more frequently than you do. How do you know? Well, it takes me about 10 seconds. <laughs> so <laughs> well, I could have just imagined, I mean, if you, you would be, if it took you, what's the average masturbation time? For me, it depends if it's solo or with a partner. We're talking, we're talking thirty minutes. Are you kidding me? Probably like <laughs> ten minutes. Maybe. T- well, the, it really depends on you. You're talking about from like foreplay on, or you're talking about just the actual solo. masturbation. Solo, solo, masturbation. solo. Well, it depends again if I'm watching. Oh, what's Gloria. with all the caveats? Can well, you just give me a fucking number? I can't give you a number. Why don't you give me your number? 30, ten seconds. I already ten told seconds. you. Ten, ten seconds. I could easily get off. Ten uh, seconds. No, no. Then, it does take longer. It does take longer. And then, it, like we were just saying, that if the orgasm is only ten seconds, I mean, if it right. the prelude is ten seconds, exactly, and you're gonna have a ten. I hate when you're building up this great orgasm and it goes <laughs> like a dud. Yep, that is the most annoying thing. Horrible. Anyway, I'm remembering a specific time on my couch, just getting a beach. A beach. Someone gave you a beach? I got a beach. Red light, green light situation. We were edging. And then I just started kind of convulsing afterwards. Why does it always seem like something's going on? Like, not. 
not human. They're never sure. Just like, did something enter your body and make you go insane? You know, I'm a very sensitive guy. I realize you're so, sensitive. So, you know, any bodily sensations really take take over me. And she did, she did ask me, she said I looked like the exorcist afterwards. <laughs> So wait, like your head revolved around your body and your kind eyes of what rolled it, up. It, and it is. It's the feeling of like extreme hyperventilation. That's the same sort of vibe. Are you breathing through your orgasm? Oh, I'm, you know, you have no clue how much I'm breathing. Diaphragmatically. That's, that's the whole thing. I think I'm breathing so goddamn much that I'm getting lightheaded over here. Well, you say you once passed out in a strip club. I, I, I didn't pass out entirely, but I did get a little hazy. Okay. Let's turn to the sneaky freaks and find out about their best orgasms. I would like to say orgasms. one other thing. If you what? want your orgasm to, to last longer, yeah. make sure that you breathe. Yeah. Are you, first of all, you think A lot of people hold their breath and they don't realize that if you breathe, it'll extend the orgasm. I am the one that introduced the whole idea of breathing to the show. You think you did. Yeah, I did. No, I... You didn't know shit about I, breathing. One of our guests was telling us about that. Okay. Well, okay. That's that's true. That's definitely true. But I didn't know. It's definitely know. something I, I learned It's not something I knew. Yeah. So anyway... What do, you, what do you think? The freaks know about this? Okay, let's turn to the sneaky freaks and hear about their best orgasm. Again, the question is, what was the best orgasm you have ever had? What was the situation leading up to it? And what made it so good? And again, if you'd like to receive these questions of the week, it's one text a week usually. We don't we don't spam. You can give us a text at 310-356-3920. It's a very fun little back and forth, okay? And you can be anonymous too if you want. Let's start off with the person who asks the goddamn question, Eleanor. All right, let's do Eleanor. Eleanor says, to answer my own question, lol, <laughs> it was probably the first time I climaxed due to both clitoral and vaginal stimulation. I wanted to say that. What do you mean you want to say that? I forgot that that, is, that was one of the best orgasms I ever had. You, you discovered you can do both at the same time? Yes. You, you could do both at the same time? If you have toys. Yeah. You she goes... Be- I never experienced it and was kind of like, damn, that shit was crazy and has really made both sex and masturbation so much better. Eleanor, you're 100% correct on that. Ding, ding, ding. Mm -hmm. Eleanor gets the prize. This is is a correct... I'm judging everyone. I'm judging. Eleanor, I agree with you 100%. How about this one? This is from Ava. I edged for 12 hours. Oh, my God, Ava. my type of girl. 12 hours? She's going to rub it off altogether. The whole clit's going to fall off. I edged for 12 hours and had an orgasm so intense I passed out afterwards. Sounds You're just sh- like me Ava, after 10 minutes. Are you going to be in uh, Buenos Aires anytime soon? <laughs> <laughs> it was a Sunday night and I had a full day of college classes the next day. So I thought I'd masturbate and go to bed. But I like edging. I like edging and really like when an orgasm builds up. So I was watching porn and letting things build up, but I was really taking my time to where I started thinking, okay, I should wrap this up. It's 2 a.m. I have to leave for class in six hours. It's now or never to get decent sleep. But I think the knowing that I should hurry up made me want to be naughty and keep going. So I eventually did so over the whole night until I was now in danger of straight up being late to class. Never mind getting sleep. So I said, okay. I have to end this and come. So I did at 8 a.m., which is when I had to leave for my first class. But I came so hard and intensely and long that I straight up just passed out afterwards and woke up at 3 p.m., having missed the entire day. Best orgasm I ever had. I can see why Ava brought this question to our attention. She did not. This is someone else. Oh, well, I can see why she answered it so eloquently. She, that's a story. I would remember that. That's she really being went, late for class. Yeah, and there were no drugs involved. What's the what's the longest you have masturbated for? Masturbated? Twelve hours this girl. Twelve hours out of the question. <laughs> Mort Mort they won they did five times a day. Yeah, I don't but think. that that's not a consecutive hour, you know. You know, and then there's people like Nina Hartley who told me that she over the years of knowing all these different porn stars, she said there's like ones that are you know, one and done, which yeah. she claims she is, which I think I am as well. And there's one that can just keep going multiple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, it's like a badge of honor. I could do multiple orgasms. Well, jinky for you. Jinky <laughs> for you. Hey, jinky for you. What is that, you like a do... badge of honor or something? What is jinky for you? I don't know. I made that up. Jinky for you? Jinky for you. You're you're so cool because you can do multiple orgasms. Oh, my God. Let's hear about from Chris. Chris says, I was having sex in the woods with my wife. We were on a deserted trail, or so we thought. It was a great orgasm because of the excitement of doing something we could get caught. When we returned to the trail, we passed a handful of hikers going both directions. Hopefully they heard or saw something. Hopefully. Hopefully. 
There are a lot of sneaky exhibitionists out there. The sneaky ass motherfucking Chris right here. I mean, I never hope to be seen having sex. That doesn't turn me on, to be honest. Well, I think I was kind of possibly seen looking like I was having sex yesterday, but I wasn't. What? <laughs> I had a massage yesterday. Okay. And we were upstairs on the rooftop where people are walking by, and I thought we had curtains around. And my masseuse, who is adorable, Arthur... What? What are you looking at? He wasn't doing anything sexually to me, but I mean, he had, he's a Thai masseuse, so he's putting the legs up in the air. It looked like I was like... Is he on you? He's standing on me. He's standing on you? Causing bruises. And in front of everyone? Yes. What the hell? It probably looked like we were having sex. Nobody knew it, though. Why are you doing it up there? Because I had COVID. I didn't want to put him in my apartment and expose him. Oh, my fucking God. Unbelievable. <laughs> so everyone's walking by and yes. you're getting contorted into all these... Are you naked? No, no. What were you wearing? You. He, I, I put on like some shorts and like, um, uh, like, uh, oh yeah, I didn't have a top on. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unreal. I don't think anybody saw anything. There were curtains around where they were blowing in the wind. We and by the way, the way people dress at my pool, you yeah. might as well be naked. That's true. 